Let's go transform this tiny little candy corn into the world's largest candy corn. So let it on. I'm going in to see what this is all about. All right, so we're gonna place the top part of the candy corn in here. Hopefully this works. <gasps> Little Fluffbean, Fluffbean, get back here. Oh my gosh, Fluff, Fluffbean just ran away from me. Fluffbean, what do you smell right now? <gasps> oh, it's a little candy corn. Little Fluff, of course you sniffed this out. What's up, Fluffbean? You really want to make a large candy corn, like as big as you? Oh my gosh, Fluffbean, that's crazy. Well, you know, crazy little llamas, I think we should go do that right now. Let's go transform this tiny little candy corn into the world's largest candy corn. Let's go. What are those little lambs doing this week? <laughs> mm. Come on, llamas. We're gonna make the best candy corn ever. This is gonna be crazy. I'm going in to see what this is all about. No, Fluff Bean, don't eat it right now. We gotta save it for the instructions. What's the Bean? You heard something outside. Oh no, I think they're coming. Oh, wait, I know. What was that? Yeah, I don't remember that bush being there either, but whatever. Let's let's make this giant candy corns. Sweet, it worked. I'm gonna come back tonight and see what they're up to. All right, llamas, so we're gonna be changing this tiny little candy corn into a gigantic one right now. Lava bean fluffing. Let's get started. And llamas, I wanna know, do you have the instruction sheet? Oh, you have it all in your little llama heads? Well, llama bean fluffing, I'm going to be trusting you, okay? Because we don't have one right in front of us right now. We have the little llamas. But if you guys wanna follow along, there's an ingredients list right here just in case you wanna make a giant candy corn as well. So llama bean fluffing, Sniff this out and tell me what the first step is. These llamas have sensitive noses and they know how to do everything with their nose. Oh, okay. So they said that there's two processes to this. There's a dry process and there's a process where we're gonna heat up a bunch of stuff. So right now we're gonna start off with the heating up all of the things. And these are those things. Okay, llama bean, what is the first thing? Okay, uh-huh. Oh, okay, llama. So llama bean just said we need to grab a big pan, okay? So we got this pan. I'm gonna put a lot of ingredients in here. So excuse me, Fluff. All right, so what is the first thing we need to put in the pan? Okay, Fluffy, Fluffy said that we have to use this butter. So this is two tablespoons of butters. All right. Oh my gosh, Fluff. Fluffy, no! Oh my gosh, Fluffy. Fluffy was literally eating the butter straight. Fluffy, that is not normal. Does your llama ever do that? Oh my gosh, love. Okay, so we're going to gently pour this into the big pan. Perfect fluff. Perfect. All right, llama bean, what is the next step? Oh. Did you guys get that? Llama bean says we're going to pour a half a cup of granulated sugars into the pan. So right here, there's a difference between powdered and granulated. This is a super tiny one. It almost looks like little sands, like little crystals. So that is the type we're pouring in here. Thank you so much, Llama Bean. Now, what else do we need? Corn syrups. Okay, llamas. All right, I'm gonna be doing that one, the Llama Mama, because this one seems like it's a lot of messiness, a lot of stickiness. So we're gonna pour a half a cup, actually not half, a third cup, one third cup of corn syrup. Poof, that stuff looks thick. This stuff looks really thick. And we're gonna pour it in here. Perfect. Now we're gonna put this pan on medium heat on the stove, okay? All right, llamas, let's head over to the stoves. What's that, llama bean? Oh yeah, so llama bean just made a great point. She said we have to get a bowl of powdered sugar and non-fat dried milk in another bowl so that we can gently pour the hot liquid into the dry liquid right after. That's perfect, llama bean. Why don't you go work on that while me and little fluff bean work over at the stove, okay, llama bean? You got this, llama. I trust in you, little llama. Okay, llama, here you go. All right, Fluff, let's, let's take this over, okay? Okay, Fluffy, we have to heat the stove to a medium heat, okay? No, Fluff, Fluffy keeps eating the ingredients. Fluffy, no. Oh my goodness, 
fluff bean. It's okay. This candy corn is going to taste so good because it's going to be super giant. So just hold it upside, okay, fluff? Now, can you please put the stove to a medium heat? Fluff! Perfect fluff! All right! Perfect. I think that's medium. All right. If you guys didn't know, fluff bean's really good at baking. She's really good at cooking. She cooks in her house all the time. Okay, fluff. Go ahead and proceed. I have no idea what Fluff means doing. Fluff, why are you trying to flip the butters? It's almost like you're making a pancake. Oh, Fluff Bean. Fluff Bean, you're doing a great job. Llama Bean, how's it going over there? Oh, you already put all the things together? That's good, Llama. That is great. She put all of the powdered sugars and all of the the dry milk together. You know what powdered sugar is? Powdered sugar is what goes on top of waffles. And I love waffles. Like waffles or pancakes? Leave a comment down below. I always choose the waffle. But pancakes are really good. Actually, it depends on my mood. Fluffy always eats pancakes. Like a ton of them. She'll eat 24 pancakes in one sitting. I'm like, Fluffy, you need to slow down. All right, we're going to mix this together. Okay, grab your spatula, Fluff. Oh, Fluffy, where is your apron at? You ate it. Oh my gosh! If you guys didn't know, we don't—we're not really using aprons right now. Usually we do, but I guess Fluff Bean ate the apron. So typical of Fluff. So we're going to stir this for about six to eight minutes on medium heat. This actually looks like it's on high. We're gonna do it on medium. Uh oh, <laughs> we already messed up just a little bit. That's okay because we never give up. So we're gonna stir it six to eight minutes. Good flat bean. And then we're gonna take it off of the stove and we're gonna put the candy thermometer in it. And we have to wait till it reach a boil. The llamas told me all the instructions. The llamas are actually pretty experts at baking, especially little fluff. Oh yeah guys, you always wanna be super careful when if you have your llama next to your stove because you do not wanna get burnt because mama is a safe bean. You always wanna be safe. Mm. Guys, I'm starting to smell this mixture and it smells so delicious. Llama bean, get over here, little llama. <laughs> llama. I think the llamas are so cute how they literally still have their costumes on. Like, Halloween is in. Actually, Halloween is just soon. It's super soon, and the llamas are extremely excited. I am too, because like Halloween is like the best day ever, and because you get a lot of free candy, and it's just so much fun. Llama Bean, you're doing such a great do job on stirring this. This looks great. How many minutes has it been? Oh no, I don't know. I think it's been about three and a half. Okay, llamas, I will continue to stir this while you look, okay? Now think about what we gotta do next, okay? Llamas, why don't you get the candy thermometer ready? All right, guys, as you can see, we have the candy thermometer in there, and when it reaches 245, we gotta take it out, and we have to quickly put in two teaspoons of vanilla. So once it reaches 245, you have to be very specific. It can't be 230, it can't be 250, it's 245. And you have to quickly put in the vanillas so that the candy corn will be perfect. Let it cool for a second. Be very careful because this can splash in your face and we want to be very careful. Now, we're going to add in the vanillas. Be very careful, okay? I'm gonna do this part because fluff bean, we don't want to get her burnt. We don't want to get llama bean burnt. A teaspoon. Actually, two teaspoons. Perfect. Now we're gonna stir that in. Okay, Lama Bean, I want you to bring me that bowl that you just mixed together, okay, Lama? Let's see. Perfect, Lama Bean. Guys, check it out. We got the powdered sugar and we have the milk right here. And we're gonna pour it into the bowl that Fluff Bean just mixed. All right, Lama, you wanna do it? Perfect, and we're gonna mix this together, and it should turn into a thick paste. Now, we've never made candy canes. Why did I say candy cane? I'm just re ready for Christmas, guys. <laughs> I know Halloween's so exciting, but I love Christmas. Now, we've never made candy corns before, and we actually never make candy canes. We can barely make cookies, but we're gonna mix this together, and it should become this super nice dough that will be the tip of the candy corn. This will be the white part of the candy corns. And we're gonna make two more batches. Check out how perfect this dough is. So we let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's still super hot. 
but now we're going to make it super colorful. Actually, not that colorful. We have this white food coloring right here. Thank you, Little Lava Bean, for getting this. We have white, we have orange, and we also have yellow. Right now, we're using the white one because we're using the white one for the tip of the candy corn. It was very hard to find this white food coloring, but we found it. We found it at Michael's. So, Little Lava Bean, will you put a little drop of this white on here, okay? Perfect llama. We are now going to mix it on to the dough. I actually should get gloves for this one because I do not want to dye my hands white. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've never done this before. I'm really hoping this is enough dye. If not, we'll add more. Okay, I'm now mushing this together. It looks like we're gonna need a lot more of this white dye because it's not really on there. So we're gonna add more. To me, this looks like toothpaste. No, not toothpaste. This looks like glue. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, I really hope that it stays on. So we're just gonna smother it around, see if it turns white. Woo! This thing is still burning hot. We're actually probably gonna need to use the whole bottle. Little Lava came up with that idea. She had a really good idea. She's like, oh my gosh, we can use it as the mold. So we're gonna put this together. We have some duct tape right here. We're gonna tape it, and we have to put this in here. We're gonna shove it in, and we're gonna make the mold. It smells a lot like plastic, sis. Mmm, tasty. Actually, no, do not eat plastic. Fluff bean. Fluff bean always tries to eat everything inside. No fluff. Okay, so we're gonna put some duct tape on the bottom of this, and we're gonna shove this white part in. Just shove it in. So since this cone does smell like it just got out of the factory, I'm going to wash it because Mama raised a clean bean. Lama Bean just whispered in my ear. She was like, Lama Mama, are you really gonna put the candy in there and bake with it smelling like that? I said, heck no, little Lam. We're going to wash it with soaps. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh my gosh, I never thought a traffic cone would be in my seat, but it is. Dinner's almost ready. Looks like I'm gonna be eating good tonight. I'll be back at dark. All right, so we're gonna place the top part of the candy corn in here. Hopefully this works. And we're gonna push it down in there with a lot of forces, a lot of our energies and juices, so that we get a nice tip of the candy corn. We want it to look really nice. Right, Lana? Right, Fluff? Oh, Fluff Bean. Okay, it's really mushed in there. All right, I think it's in there perfectly. It is now all shoved in. Now we have to work on the yellow and the orange part. Okay, lovers, let's double our recipe. I think we're gonna double the same exact thing for the yellow and triple the amount for the orange since it's more bigger. Right, love, right, love? Let's do this thing. Let's go. So let's take a look back at the candy corn because it goes white, orange, yellow. I thought it went white, yellow, orange, but it, the next one is orange, okay? And actually, I'm thinking the orange one is actually the biggest part, so that's what we're making right now. We have our orange doughs right here, and we're about to put the orange dye on it right now. Now, the thing is that I'm really hoping that this orange dye works. The white ones seem to work pretty well, so we're gonna add a couple drops here to the dough. Lamas. I would let you do this step, but this gets very messy, and I do not want you to change into an orange little llama. That would be cool, but this is permanent, okay? I think that's pretty much good. It almost looks like red. So I'm going to mush this in there. I added a little bit right now, but we'll add more as we go. So if you're making this at home, and you're turning your candy corn orange, and it doesn't seem like there's enough, just add a little bit more as you go. Oh my gosh, guys, look. The dough is already turning orange and it looks like a candy corn. It looks like the middle of the candy corn. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's like playing with Play-Doh, but it's real. It's like real dough. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple more to this to make it really orange. We want it to be perfect. Right, Fluff Bean? You guys, you know, I'm really wondering how long it would it take the llamas to eat this giant candy corn? Hmm, how long do you think the llamas would take? Leave a comment down below. I'm so excited for this because I love Halloween and this is so festive. Like I feel like 
This is just one of those things that everybody should do for Halloween. Make a giant candy corn. Right, Lava Babe? Okay, I think we're about done here. And then we have to mix up the yellow dough and put the yellow one in. So when you're doing this, you really want to mush it and pull it to see the inside of the candy corn dough to see if it's all orange because you don't want any white parts. You want it to be an authentic candy corn. You want the best of it. So I think this right here, this is absolutely perfect. And we're gonna put it in the cone right now. Wow, look at that guys. This is so satisfactory. Okay, let's push it down in there. Oh yeah, this is what, this was a perfect amount. Okay, we really gotta squish it in there because we want it to harden properly. Perfect. Now we just have to make our yellow dough. And the final one, we're gonna transform this dough into yellow. It's a little bit less than the orange one only because as you look at the recipe right here, the yellow part is slightly smaller than the orange. So we're gonna turn it to yellow right now. Just a couple drops. One, two. We're going to massage it in. I love this part because like I said, it literally feels like I'm just playing with Play-Doh. I'm gonna mush it in, stretch it out, mush it, stretch it, mush it. Oh, but it's actually still kinda hot. Maybe I should let it cool a little bit more. That's okay, these gloves really help. Okay, I think we need a few more drops. There we go. And rub it in and mush it around. This is looking absolutely amazing. Okay, let's shove this yellow part into the cone like so. Really mush it down in there. Okay, now you're probably wondering, how is this gonna look like a candy corn? Well, we're gonna smush the cone and we're gonna fall asleep at night and wake up the next day and check on it. You guys won't believe it. Little Fluffing literally made this contraption right here. This right here will make the candy corn super flat. We're going to shove the whole cone inside of here. She put this together in order to make the candy corn flat so it doesn't look like a cone. So we're gonna put the candy corn in here and then we're going to gently put it in the freezer. Okay, Fluffin, okay, Mama Bean. Let's put the candy corn in here. All right, we're gonna give it a good push. We're gonna make it super flat and candy corn like. Thank you so much, Fluff, for doing this. Just like that, it's oozing out a little bit, but do not worry. Now let's set it in the freezer. Good night for you, more like good morning for me. I think those little lambs are finally asleep. Next stop, Chimney Town. Down the chimney we go. I'm so glad I got all that experience working at the mall, being a Santa Claus. I wouldn't know how to do this if it wasn't for that. Ho, 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 little lambs. Man, I hope I fit. Last time I did this, did not end up too pretty. Oh, jeez. Man, that was a tighter squeeze than I thought. Oh, I know it's around here somewhere. Smells like dinner's ready. The clearest coast. Here it is. I cannot believe I've got my hands on the world's largest candy corn. Oh yeah, this is the real deal. No, I'm gonna wait to the bush. <laughs> Thanks, little lambs. Llama be fluffing, llamas. Let's go check on the giant candy corn. Let's see if it actually worked. Come on, llamas. Guys, come on. I'm so excited for this candy corn. Let's see if it actually held. Guys, I'm really worried. I'm really hoping. I have a good feeling. Let's cross our fingers. Oh! <gasps> Llamas! Where did, the, where did the candy corn go? Fluffing, did you eat the candy corn? It's such a thing that Fluff would do. would wake up in the middle of the night and eat the candy corns. Fluff? 
No! Oh my gosh, and what happened to it, llamas? Llamas! Oh, did somebody steal it? Llama bean, llama bean. Sniff it out and see if you can see who stole it. They said they can't sense it. Usually the llamas can. This is really bad. Oh, you know what, llamas? Let's actually check the ring cameras. Because if we have a ring camera up there, we can see if somebody came in and stole it. Let's see. Where's my phone? Oh, oh no, llamas. This is not good. Let's see. Oh, here's some footage. Oh, there was some activity last night around 3.22 a.m. Trusty push pop weapon. Let's go, Lamas. 